Welcome to part 6 of Web Connect Training. This video only applies to those with Vitros instruments. We recommend that you move on to part 7 if you do not have Vitros instruments. Understanding how Vitros slide generation numbers are handled is important, as this affects the process that you'll use to transform your data. Some Vitros instruments can produce QC data files that contain slide gen information. Unity Connect is able to use this information to automatically process slide gen changes. However, imagine a case in which Vitro's data flows into an LIS or middleware. While a user may see the slide gen information in the LIS or middleware, it may not be included in the QC data file you wish to import. This means that there are two different processes for handling Vitro's data one that uses the included slide gen number, and one that assigns a slide gen number at a time date that you choose. Let's start with a case in which slide gen information is included in the file. The typical process for transforming data is straightforward. Let's begin by verifying that the correct transformer is selected. Select a specific date range if needed. In this case, we'll be transforming the entire file. Click the Choose File button. Select the QC data file and click the Open button. Now that the file has been selected, click Go. WebConnect transforms the QC data into the Unity-friendly format, and it's ready to be imported into Unity Web. Now let's look at the process for transforming a QC file that contains Vitros instruments, but no slide gen data. For an existing test, begin by setting up the new slide gen in Unity Web. Then click the Configure button. Navigate to the Config Gens tab. Select the test with a new slide gen number. Click the Add button. Enter the date and time that the change to the new slide gen number occurred. Enter the new slide gen number. Click Save and Close. Click the Choose File button. Select the QC data file and click the Open button. Now that the file has been selected, click Go. WebConnect transforms the QC data into a Unity-friendly format and it's ready to be imported into Unity Web. Continue your training by viewing Part 7.